this uh, video is a video on the uh, oil and filter change of the new warrior compressor but it also includes information given about the uh, the new warrior compressor that uh, Eddie Br Brundret uh, actually purchased from the same place as I did in Leicestershire he's had problems with it and uh, when it comes to problems it looks like uh, they've got to be sent back to China at the owner's cost which is ridiculous really well here's the uh, a view of the uh, conversations we've had on uh, the YouTube page concerning Eddie's compressor and he'd wanted me to pass on the information for anybody else that's got one or any other compressor for that matter
Okay then, folks. Uh, it's uh, time to uh, do the oil and filter change on the new wire compressor. So I'll just uh, talk you through it. Now, originally, when I got the compressor last January, it only included this filter here. Uh, the Air Mega is what I actually added to it and basically the filter that comes with these is basically a cotton filter as you can see here uh, now this is the last this is the last point of call before it gets to the rifle and looking at that, it's not too bad at all. So, uh, the Air Mega filter is the first filter that it gets to, and it's also got a cotton bud in it, but it's also got charcoal in it as well, and that is the main thing that uh, soaks everything up. So, uh, that basically does its job. So I've got a little pick here to pull the filter out and same again. Pretty clean really. I'm gonna change it anyway. Uh, they actually do come with uh, a pack of filters like that. I think this one came with the Air Mega but uh, cheap enough to get on my lap. I have heard that some people reuse them and just wash them and uh, dry them out which I suppose would work so that's that uh, as far as the filters go on this compressor they recommend that uh, you do the first filter change and oil change and I think it's after 25 hours of use or the first three months well I've been using this now since January I've used it quite a lot because uh, as you all know I do a lot of uh, tuning and that requires a lot of air uh, so I've used just over six hours worth uh, the second uh, change or is it a month it might be a month hang on I've got it on the wall here oh okay yeah this is recommended that you change the oil for the first time after after the earlier one which is uh, one month or 25 hours of used after the first oil change it is recommended that you should change the oil uh, the earlier of every three months or 50 hours of use same Basically, most people are going to change it after every three months. Well, I'm on about my third uh, oil and filter change now. Uh, so, that is the front filter. That's done. So, now I'll go to the rear filter and see how that's performed. <coughs> Basically. Take that up for some reason, but it's given me uh, some good use, really. I mean, I can top an air rifle up between 30 and 45 seconds, depending on whether it's a cylinder or bottle, so it don't take long to fill a rifle. Up. And that's, uh, I think, the biggest pressure one is probably. Uh, yes yeah, so i think that's 250 bar something like that or 230 bar but i also use it for topping up the uh, three liter air cylinders i've got so when it drops down to say 180 bar i'll top it up to uh 280 bar now i want i don't go all the way up to three because i tried doing that once and uh, the blast cap blew now they do come with uh clear blast caps uh it's one of the air i've just seen the bloody thing 
Oh there, it's like a little, uh, it's not very, no what did it blow off? A little copper round circle, that is the blast cap there, just here. I want them burst once, and if that ever bursts on one of these, there's a little nut there. You take that off, and you just replace the cap. So it's simple as that. So I, I, I would think that uh, fairly easier to uh, replace as well. Right, it's probably why I take this one off. So just unscrew the end. I'm hoping this is the end with the. Uh, cotton bud in it because one end's got charcoal in it so we'll be all over the place it can be messy if you're not careful but uh, as we all know charcoal is what's used to take out moisture and uh, soak up any uh, residue now some some use uh, the little beads that you get with the electrical equipment that you sometimes find you get a little bag in it just have white beads in it that soak it up the same drops a long thread and again up to 300 bar going through it so it needs to be like you get on a, on a normal hip rifle cylinder Faffing around, but we'll get there in the end. Here we go. Right. So this is the other end of the cylinder. So it looks a bit mucky. Right. So you've got this is the end where the charcoal is. So you've got two little felt caps. So that looks black because it's got charcoal on it. So the charcoal and uh, some beads in there. Uh, I'll empty that, that out just to show you. It's actually charcoal and beads. And at this end. Now this is the uh, first part of the compressor getting into it, so uh, let's see how bad this one is. Right, so this has soaked some oil up, so it's done its job. So if you look at that, actually, got another felt cap. And there's the, uh, you can push it through. Okay. Right, so, same again. Felt caps in front of that, bit a bit bit uh, oily, and some of it's got through to the other end. But as soon as it got through that, it then uh, bleeds into the charcoal, which does its job. Uh, so I'll replace the uh, the board on this one. cap back on and screw screw it back on so that's a filters change and they're just air filters they're not oil, oil filters they're air filters I suppose it does filter any oil that just might get through the, the system but uh, Too hard to get uh, placement charcoal either. Put the caps back in there. Okay, that's 
a matter of screwing this back on. And it does go right down it. It, it actually touches the, uh, looking at that, it screws right down to where that uh, felt cap is. So it's not like you could put another bullet in there. That's what he was thinking. I was thinking it as well, but no. So, put that back off. Now the rubber O-rings on these as well to make the seal. So if you get it leaking out of the uh, actual filter, it might need a replacement rubber ring on it. And they all come with the kit anyway. Uh, if you look in here, we've got valves, delring O-rings and uh, things for the pump. And we've also got for the cylinder rings and stuff like that. So these do actually come with servicing kits for you to do it yourself. Uh, so I did get a remark from a viewer that bought one of these and he sprang a leak. And I think he got it from the same place as me because he got it from Leicestershire. Uh, there's a chap there that, uh, throw that away. There's a chap there that, that sells these so he can save yourself on the uh, delivery cost because you can pick these up for between 150 and 200 quid. But if you get it through AliExpress or somewhere, they'll then charge about £150 to post it to you. So if you can get it through a UK buyer, you save money that way. But like I say, this lad started using his, his sprang a leak. I'm not sure where he sprang a leak. He might, if you're watching that, depending on where you sprang a leak, it might just be a matter of replacing an O-ring or seal. Uh, if it's leaking from, from this, Inside there, I would imagine there's a Dell ring, O ring in there, if it, or, and or seals like that. That might solve your problem. Uh, or if it's leaking from here, from the cylinder itself, only taking apart and using them. But what he was going to do was open to uh, get it uh, fixed or replaced. Now, basically, because the manufacturer is in China and there's no uh, UK dealer as such they expect you to send it back to them they'll fix it for you but it'll cost you that postage charge so if it's going to cost you 100 or whatever to send it by post it's not really worth doing it is it because uh, for what they cost you could buy another one so in my opinion if that happened with this one which it could easily do to any compressor because it happens on here ask where you get your leaks uh, I'd try and fix it myself first with uh, the kit I've got I mean I might have to strip it down anyway uh, it's actually got a circuit breaker built into it uh, there's a little switch just down here and the other day I was using it and it switched off so I had to use a circuit to wait well, it came on when I reset it but it switched off for a reason uh, probably because it needed a an oil and filter change I don't know but uh, when I've changed it all I'll see how it runs if, if it's not running very well I might be doing a, a full strip down video of uh, doing my own service on it which could be helpful for people but uh, like I say so far I've, I've uh, had it for about just over six hours of continuous use uh, and there's a lot of air gone into that I filled my air tanks. I've got two three litre tanks and I, I must have topped them up from between 180 200 bar up to 280. Uh, I must have topped them up at least 12 times each as well as uh, filling my rifles up direct through it. So the next thing will be the actual oil change itself. I don't know why I take this up, but uh, I'll do it again. Oh, I know why. I've got a, a, a mount on the wall, and I think I needed to uh, pack it out so it didn't slip through. I think that's what was happening. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. So 
next up will be the oil change and uh, for that got my little pots for collecting oil uh, pouring oil I've got my little uh, old uh, baking tray for collecting it so uh, next up oil change okay then folks uh, now down to the uh, oil change so you've got a breather plug I suggest you move remove that help it breathe more easily and then there's a 10 millimeter a naught that needs undoing at the bottom for the sump So once you've uh, loosened off with the uh, spanner, you can then do it by hand. It does come out pretty slow, it comes out as a drip. Uh, so to save time, I'll uh, come back when it's uh, empty. At this rate it's going to take quite a few minutes. Okay, as you can see, I left it quite a while, it stopped dripping now, so the oil is empty. It doesn't take that much oil actually. Let's just see uh, how much we get in here. But, uh, Looking at the core of that, it's ready for a change. There we go. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> but when you do fill these up, there's an indicator on the uh, on the little window in there, and you fill it to that point. Uh, let's see what we've got in here. Got about 300 ml of oil, and the oil I've been using is uh, hy hy hydraulic ISO 46 manual. Got a five litre tub here, probably costs about 20 quid, something like that. I'm not sure actually, but uh, it's enough there to last a long time few years. <laughs> okay then, so the uh, next step will be to screw the actual uh, sump nut back on and uh, I'll put another 300ml of uh, oil in the tank and uh, we'll start her up. Just nip it up at the last minute. Okay, so uh, <coughs> I'll put it on a flat base again and fill it up with uh, oil. Okay then, just for comparison's sake, uh, that's the oil I've got out of it. That's the new oil, look at the difference in colour there. So it's on a flat surface now. now when you initially get these compressors, and most compressors, the young hangs are the same. They actually come with a, a screwing plug. They must be removed before you start the compressor up. Because the compressor needs to be able to breathe, and this is a breather plug. And that goes in there. If you don't, pressure will build up, and the front case will explode. Uh, so you uh, must remember to take the little uh, cap off and put the breather plug in it. Okay then, so stop topping her up. I actually bought these just for the job. Get them from the supermarket, cheap enough to buy. Thank you. 
I say, I put about 300 mil in that. I'll let it settle. But uh, might need a bit more. Uh, I'll just bring you closer in here, so you can see. If you look down at the uh, little window, there's the level, and if you look at the guide above it, it needs to be above the red line. So it's 300 mil to where it is now. So you're pro probably actually looking at I don't know 350, 400 mil. We'll see. It's a time to settle now, so I'll just add a bit more. What I don't get used, I'll just put back in the pot. See what we've got here. Well, that's about 150 mil in the uh, tub now, so we'll work it out from that what it needs. We're about there now. Uh, looking at that, about 80 left in there, so yeah, it's probably about 350 mil. Fill it up and just put your breather plug back in. See the breathe hole in it. Uh, hang on a minute, come back a bit. There's a breathe hole in it just there. Okay, so that's fully tightened on. What I'll do now, I'll uh, I'll just clean the casing up and then I'll plug the uh, the water pipes back in and uh, let it run a bit okay then I've uh, plugged everything in there uh, under the bench you can see I've got a transparent plastic tub with a lid on it. I've cut two holes in that for the pipes to go through. And that feeds through the bench up to the compressor. Uh, it's been working pretty good like that up to now for the last uh, almost a year now actually. Uh, so that is the oil and filter change of the new wire compressor. Uh, I'll top one of my air tanks up I think it's around 195 bar, so I'll top it up to 280 and we'll see how long it takes. Okay, the uh, working temperature at the moment in the uh, pump is 13.3 centigrade. This is the actual uh, thermometer there and that goes into the uh, cylinder head. So. Uh, pump is running now, you can probably hear it. Uh, so let's uh, put the cylinder on and uh, start filling it up. As you can see, uh, just behind the uh, compressor, I have my uh, air mega filter. That's clipped to the back wall there. And then I've got my, uh, my last filter in the chain. If I'm doing a normal rifle, I'll put it on the rack there, on the rifle rack, and fill it up from here. The air tanks I just leave on the bench. Uh, that's the fill adapter. You can
can get these from Best Fittings if you need one. They're not that expensive to be honest. But uh, all that does it screws on. Make sure the uh, bleed valve is closed. Take protective uh, cover off both uh, items. Plug it in. Now I start off with what I do. Instead of putting a strain on the uh, the pump by opening that up and all the air rushing out of that neutralising in there, what I do I keep that tight until the pressure builds up to where I know the actual uh, tank is filled to so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it until it gets to around 190 bar and then I'll open that up but you will, I don't know if you can see it there come forward slightly Just go down to the gauge. We'll tilt it away a bit. You will see it coming on. So, on the actual uh, pump itself, just pan out again. You need to make sure this is the bleed valve for this for the compressor. So you turn that in. The water is circulating there. switch it off by bleeding the valve it, it's not, not trying to contain all that pressure temperature on the compressor now is 64 centigrade like I say it's took uh, about seven and a half minutes to fill it from 190 to uh, about 285 uh, bar and that's what I do with my air tanks I've got two of them uh, what I would normally do now rather than fill another tank up or a rifle I'll just let it run I'll keep it plugged in I'll let, the, I'll let the water pump run until it's cooled down again and when it's down to where we start from which is around 13 14 degrees C I'll then uh, start doing the next fill up otherwise uh, 
and put a strain on it. We don't want to overheat it, but yeah, I mean, it was struggling the other day, but it was down to the oil change, I think. It was getting a bit too viscous, but uh, that is the new Warrior pump. As I say, uh, you must be aware uh, when buying these things, unless you're going to pay over the odds for it. Uh, it's like if you look at, I think it's, the, 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 there's one outlet in the UK that sell them, the Air Force ones. Uh, they cost six hundred pound. Uh, well, when, can, when you when you think you can buy Young End from China for one hundred and sixty pound, what you're actually paying for in that uh, six hundred pound Air Force compressor is your after service. Really, they probably just replace the compressor. Uh, I'm not sure on that one, but uh, yeah, if you want to get a cheap compressor and are happy to serve it, it yourself. That's fine, but when you do get problems, uh, unless you're prepared to pay £100 return postage, it's entirely up to you what you do. I mean, because you get all the bits in it, I think it's designed to strip down yourself to see what the problem is. But if you get any air leaks, you've got to find out where your air leaks coming from. And it's like an air rifle. Uh, most of these things it will just be O-rings and things like that, so you should be able to fix it yourself. Uh, say uh, I've had a blast cap go off on it already that's why I don't fill it fully to 300 bar but uh, I'll fill an air tank up to 280 bar 290 and that's going to last me anyway it's going to last me days uh, I can even top my rifles up and then just take the, the bottle down as an extra if I need to but there we go that's the uh, new wire compressor oil and filter change and um, thanks for watching.